Amazon. While Amazon has recently been in the news for some of its antitrust hearings and the challenges that the business faces from a regulatory perspective, Amazon has also been in the news for the massive value that it's created, especially in light of COVID-19. People couldn't go into or didn't choose to go into hard retail stores. Amazon delivered more product than ever to especially the U.S. consumers. And what we're looking at today is how Amazon is transforming its hiring policies. First of all, Amazon Amazon is one of the first big tech companies to throw out the old 2019 playbook when it comes to hiring in 2020. Some of their initial adjustments early in 2019 involved making changes to who they were hiring from and how many people they were hiring. For many organizations, many MBA programs in particular, Amazon became one of their top hiring candidates. And so if you were interested in going into the tech field, Amazon all of a sudden was your number one choice for many organizations. However, in this last year in 2020, Amazon has reversed some of their initial policies of building strong relationships with core target schools tossed out the playbook, shredded it entirely, and said, hey, we want to reinvent the wheel. And so Amazon, with a slow start in the spring, with questionability about its online programs and its summer internships, has gone full steam ahead into hiring aggressively at the MBA level, but doing it in a very different way. What are the two changes? Amazon and many other companies such as Facebook and Google have followed suit, have changed their plans for who they will hire, where they will hire from, and when they will hire. Let me walk through each one of those. First of all, who will they hire? Amazon is now more broad than ever about who would be a great candidate for the role at Amazon. One of the core things that is incredibly consistent is they're looking for strong analytical abilities. But this opens the door to different master's programs, not just MBA programs, but master's programs, including master's in engineering, master's in business analytics, master's in finance. So Amazon has thrown open the door for who they're hiring. They've said that they're open to people with degrees degrees and advanced degrees of all different sorts, provided we have one common theme, and that's analytics. The second thing is where they are hiring. Amazon, for the last number of years, has built legacy relationships with a couple of core target schools, namely tier one target schools, where they've gotten most of their hiring done. But with a combination of a much larger need for talent because of the growth of Amazon, as well as its focus on virtual hiring, Amazon has done an complete playbook change by focusing rather than on a couple of core target schools, throwing out the list of target schools and saying all are welcome, all should please apply. Amazon's using the systems that it's built up internally to manage a major influx of candidates from other schools. So if you're at a tier one school, it just got a little bit more competitive for you. You're not any longer given a front row seat into the Amazon hiring line. If instead you're at a level two or a level three school and you haven't had Amazon on campus before, congratulations. Now Amazon is absolutely a target firm for you. Third, when are they hiring? Amazon said, hey, why do we even need to wait for students to be back in the classroom and back on campus? We can find them now. So they threw open their doors to hiring on August 15th, earlier than many organizations had before. And because of those early start dates and the early interview dates, people are scrambling this year. Organizations such as career services offices have to get their students ready faster and make sure that they know about Amazon opportunities. Amazon isn't necessarily streamlining on campus. There's a different process in addition that students need to be informed about. And students need to be ready to get into the mix earlier because when the spots are full, the spots are full. Now, one good thing about Amazon is that historically they have done a second round of hiring in the spring of every year. And we expect next year to be no different. In fact, if Amazon's demand continues to increase, their demand for talent will increase accordingly. And so they will still need to hire people, even if they fill all of the anticipated slots this year, should their growth continue. If you're interested in applying to Amazon, Facebook, Google, or any of the other tech usual suspects, we would love to help. At Management Consulted, we offer world-class edits as well as great interview preparation. You can get one or both in a package, and we'd love to work with you. 